Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. We're back on the mini series again today looking at what it's like being a shark scientist and a marine biologist. If you missed the previous video I did in this series where I looked at three things that I wish I knew before becoming a shark scientist then you can click this link here and give it a watch. Today however we're looking at the reasons why I absolutely love doing what I do so it's going to be a significantly more positive video than the last one. Again guys I'd like to stress my experiences are solely my experiences and shouldn't be taken as gospel so please do keep that in mind. So back to today and here are three reasons why I love being a shark scientist. Up first for me shark science is incredibly fulfilling and rewarding. I mentioned previously about how much hard work goes on behind the scenes when you're working in this industry and eventually all that hard work pays off. Spending that much time writing a research paper and then eventually seeing it become available to the public is just one of the best feelings ever. When I first published my shark and entanglement research paper back in 2019, no way for a second did I expect it to get as much attention as it did. On the day that it went live, I just had hundreds of media requests for interviews and quotes about the research. It just went absolutely crazy. I remember I was in a place called Truro, which is about a 20 minute train journey from where I live here in Falmouth, doing an interview with a radio station. And I got a call from Sky News saying, can you be on the news within the hour? And then I was just rushing back to my house, trying to get home as fast as I could for this interview. And I managed to get in maybe five minutes before the interview was due to start. I was so hot and sweaty. It was the middle of summer. It was super gross. <laughs> But then I got to chat on Sky News about the awesome research that we'd just done for a good five minutes. And that was just an amazing feeling. To think how many hundreds, if not thousands of people got to hear about the plight of sharks in regards to entanglement in marine debris just made me feel so good. And just to get that message out there was amazing. Being a researching shark scientist is so rewarding when you think about the fact that more often than not, you were the first person in the world to know this new piece of information. There wasn't really anyone else working on sharks and marine debris at the time. And so I'd almost become a world leading expert on shark entanglement. To be honest, I hate referring to myself as an expert because I'm not. We learn new things every day. I don't think anyone truly can be an expert in science. The same applies though to another paper that I was working on where I was the first person to show that UK shark species had ingested microplastics. Literally no one else knew that information. I think knowing that crazy new information and then getting to share that with the world is such a rewarding feeling. I'm also so pumped for a nurse shark paper that I've been working on and I cannot wait to share it with you all. Anyway, up next we have the people. Now, I know that I said previously that shark science is an extremely competitive field and that can lead to a little bit of bitchiness in the industry. I won't lie, I have experienced this before, but in general, it's a pretty rare thing to happen. On the whole though, the people that you get to meet within shark science are genuinely so cool. You get to meet people from all different walks of life, from different countries and different backgrounds. And these are people that perhaps you might not have met or interacted with before. They're also so passionate about exactly the same things that you're passionate about. And this means that you've always got something in common. And this is one of the main reasons why I love conferences. Scientific conferences are where scientists from all different parts of the world meet in one place to talk about and present their research. They are literally so much fun to go to as you get to meet new people or catch up with old friends. You also get to listen to all of the brand new research that's going on right now about sharks and it's a really great place to stay up to date with what's going on in the world of sharks. Don't worry though guys, that's why you watch Shark Bites. I always come away from a shark conference feeling really motivated and excited about my existing projects and having met a bunch of really cool new people. Another place that's really good for chatting with other shark scientists is Twitter and I'm constantly engaging with other scientists on that platform. Twitter has started to become a place where we can share our research and it's also a really good place to organize collaborations and talk about new ways of doing things in science. If you use Twitter and want to follow a load more cool shark scientists then my best advice would be to head over to my profile at KJ partners my handle and they just basically go down the list of the people that I'm following but yeah on the whole 99% of shark scientists that you will ever meet are super friendly really easy to talk to happy to answer questions especially the early career ones and then finally the third thing that I love about being a shark scientist is the sense of adventure and getting to work with sharks okay so this is probably a pretty obvious one but it is one of the main reasons why I got into shark science having the ability to just surround myself with sharks in every aspect of my life is something that I really appreciate. I've been so lucky to work and spend time in the water with sharks 
all around the world. Mozambique, the Philippines, Australia, the Bahamas. Traveling to all these amazing countries really does give you that sense of adventure and you never truly know what to expect. But then getting to spend extended time in the water with sharks is just a huge perk of the job. Getting to go to the Philippines and spend every single day in the water with sometimes up to 30 whale sharks in a really small area is just a feeling that's so hard to describe. Seeing these apex predators in their natural environment and then getting to share that space with them is something I dreamed about doing for such a long time. I think getting to live that life is something that I will always hold on to dearly. Even when I'm not in the water though, I get to surround myself with sharks. So at the moment with COVID restrictions, traveling to all these amazing countries is a little bit tricky, but doing what I do, I still get to see sharks all the time. For example, I was analyzing some underwater Bruv's footage for a shark research organization that I work for called Beneath the Waves. Doing that, even though I'm sat here at my desk, means I get to see and identify sharks on my screen all the time. And that's just really exciting. Side note though, I really would like to get abroad very soon so I can get back in the water with sharks. So can COVID go away, please? So there we have it, guys. There are three reasons why I love being a shark scientist. If there's anyone out there watching this video who's maybe slightly on the fence or someone out there thinking about delving into a career in marine biology or shark science, my overwhelming advice would be do it. If you have a passion for this work or these animals, you will always find a way to succeed, no matter how hard things may seem. So I think that's enough from me for today. As I've said before, if you have any questions about shark science or the work that I do, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Like I said on the previous video, if there's enough questions, I will make sure to get that Q&A done for you so that they are all answered. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, See you next time.